Have you seen Justine? Don't drink wine. Wine is for helpless women, like myself. My head. What is this thing? Get me out. I'm not up for your games. No. <laughs> you have to say it first. How beautiful am I? Plenty. Now let me out of this thing. No. That is not what you say. Uh, your beauty is blinding. Ah, my eyes! What have you done to my eyes? Justine, this isn't funny. You've blinded me. Ha uh ha, -huh. can't catch me now. I'll kill you, you whore! Congratulations for coming this far. I'm so excited for you. I do hope you managed to save Monsieur Fournier. He was a friend, and a colleague of my papa, you know. Friendly fellow, a real bon garçon, but frail of mind. He puts up an impressive front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please, go on. We are just getting started. Divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? 
Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light guide you. Who are you? Who's there? Father David with his god now? Maybe you helped him there. Don't you worry. I'm sure he didn't have a family. He probably wasn't even all that well liked. With the current political climate, I'm surprised someone hasn't killed him already. We can't all be saved. Some don't even want to be saved. Yes, that is a comforting thought. Saves us from trying. figured out how it all works by now. Are you enjoying my quips? 
I think they are quite clever. Not that I was ever much of a conversationalist. Poetry has always been my forte. But I digress. You should press on. It will all be over soon. Also, the police are here. Maybe they can help you. Managed to save him or not. I know very little about him, but surely he had a family, don't you think? Poor, poor fatherless children. But he falls on his own sword. His kind is not meant to come for people like me. Laws are made for credits. The aristocracy doesn't need to know right from wrong. We are always right.
Well done. You have triumphed. Conquered my cabinet. I wish I could tell you how you did, but alas, this is a recording. You will have to figure it out all by yourself. Did anyone survive? The doctor? The priest? Or perhaps the policeman? Who is allowed to live? Why? You should really reflect on these past events and consider what they meant to you. What you have learned about your true nature. Father never knew me. He thought he did, but then he was frightened. And nothing was ever the same again. I can still see him lying there on the floor. He looked so surprised. The star-shaped soapstone stained by his blood fell to the floor with a sonorous thud. Blame me not, for I was but a child. With careful ambition, I dared a smile. Rest in peace, Papa. This, this was the best one yet. So elaborate. It's just too much. Enough of this. Get up, Justine. Well done, child. God be great. You have saved a child. Open the door. Hey, you! Almost free. Come on, get us out of here! It's all right. No one will be coming through that door. It's locked and bolted. Such light was such light was never meant for me. Such intricate machinery. I can't for the life of me understand why he built this. Don't want any of the guests coming in here.
Mademoiselle Justine, are you down there? Is everything all right? Of course, Clarice, I'm quite all right. Is everything ready for tonight? Yes, the goose is ready any minute now. The guests should be arriving within the hour. Clarice, I know it's a busy day, but make sure to post this letter for me, okay? Certainly, Mademoiselle Justine. Urgent, is it? Not really. It's already years late. I just thought they should know I'm still alive.